Right. Uh, it is at 20 to 9. I've done about 9 hours? Yeah, that, yeah, so 8, eight to 9 hours. Oh, I've got to change that. I think I've put that off. Uh, yeah, put that on for 24, yeah, about 2, I reckon, I think. And then maybe, yeah, 2, that'll do. Right, so anyway, we have Tia. She's a bit of a grumpy sort. She'll tolerate a couple of strokes on her head and then she'll swipe at you. So, I'm not going to stroke her. Then, him, grumpy bastard. Grumpy bastard. <laughs> he's beautiful, but he's been very grumpy. He's just been very grumpy with uh, who was he fighting with? Blue, I think. Oh, he's, he's so naughty. <laughs> oh no, no, he was beating up. He was beating up Larry. Poor Larry. Larry's got a cold, I think. I think it was Larry or Ronnie. They both look the same, really. No, I think it was Larry. So anyway, this is midnight. A majestic black lion. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's. Not, uh, I think he's upset that he's not in a crate anymore. And then we have Arrow, who was in in the big crate near the window, but we're trialing something. So we've got electric blanket, which is on an RCD breaker thingy, whatever protector. Uh, and we've got a blanket, a couple of blankets on top of it. He seems happy enough at the moment, but he's lost his lit tray, so he's going to have to go down and use the lit tray. <sighs> and he's lost his heated bed, but he seems quite happy on the electric blanket. So, yeah, always a good boy. Always a good boy. I won't touch him because he's asleep. Right, then we've got... Uh, who we got? Blue. We've got Blue there. Hey, Blue. Oi, come here, Baba. Come here. Okay, baby, it's okay, it's all right. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy, eh? Hey? What can you smell? You smell loads of different smells, eh? Hey? Oh, he's a good lad. He's a good lad, he's blue. Oh, he's a good, a good boy. But he's got a stressed diarrhea. Oh, but he's a good boy, ain't you? And then we've got Vinny. At the moment, he's got a little bit of a seasonal cold. Are you, Baba? Huh? Hey, you okay? Oh, he's a little bit of scaredy cat, this one. Huh? Oh, he's a little bit timid, isn't he, Baba? He's not sure. He's not sure. Oh, put in. Oh, he's a little bit of a timid boy. He's not sure. And then we've got Bam Bam. Bam Bam's his brother. Bam Bam's really sweet. He's such a sweet cat. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> Oh, you're a good boy. A little late for you lads, isn't it? You've had a, you've had a late day. Then we've got Hissy, Hissy Ronnie, who was Hissy in the crate, but he's probably still Hissy. Ain't you, Ron? Eh? Eh? You can't stroke, you can't, I'm not going to risk it, no. I like my fingers where they are, connected to my hands. Thank you. Then, we've moved Stewie. Now, he was in this crate. Which I just had down and cleaned behind, because it was covered in, yeah, whatever. So Stewie's now got a nice bed and he's got a heat mat, which he didn't have before. So that should improve, improve his temperament a bit. So anyway, he's being fed and he's got his biscuits and he's been watered. Then we've got Ellie at the bottom. Ellie, Ellie baby, it's fine pudding. I was giving her a bit of a cuddle and she jumped on my leg for another cuddle. I think she was going to head bump me, but she dug her claws into my leg. So I had to push her off. Oh, I'll go in there then, midnight, lad. Oh, it's a good boy. It's a good lad. Then we got Binksy. Binksy, void. You can't see her. But she's a void. She's there in the darkness. I'll just know if I can turn the flash on. Can't turn. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's Binksy. She's a good girl. Binksy's the daughter of Ali, isn't she? Yes, she is. She's the daughter of you. Look at those little teethies. Oh, good little teethies, eh? Little teethies. Right. So, both the bottom crate and the top crate free. Jasper was there in Stewie's crate. Jasper is now here. And he's got a nice big bed. Got a nice big bed. Got a big bed. Uh, what is it? A donut bed. Got that out of the kitten room. Because none of the kittens are really using it. 
put a nice big blanket on it. So he's got a nice big, nice big crate so that he can stretch his legs. Uh, so yeah, he's, uh, he looks, he looks about the same, but at least he can lie on his back on his bed now. Can't you? Hey, can't you? Beautiful. He's a Persian cross. He's gorgeous. That sounds like Bella wants to come in. I was trying to get her in because she's the last cat out. Come on, get in. Bella, come on, baby. Come on, honey. Come on, Baba. Yeah, I know. I know, I moved the cat tree. You don't have a cat tree anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Baba. Come on, baby. Come on. Bella, come on, baby. Are you coming in? You're the last pussy cat out. Come on, let me let me close it. I'm trying to get you all in for the night. Come on, get in. Come on, baby. You're the last pussy cat out. Got to get you all in for the night, haven't we? Huh? Okay, you stay out there for a moment then. I'm gonna close the door. Keep the heat in. So we've got Blue. We've got Vinny. We've got Bam Bam. We've got Ronnie. I think at the end we might have a pussycat, it could be Larry. I don't think there's anybody up here. No, nobody up there, I've got to organise the blankets. So, then at the bottom we have, we have Buttons, and we have Noel. And we had a bit of a palaver getting, getting them from the top crate where Jasper is, into the bottom crate, but they're okay now. Oh God, oh, I'm gonna fall over. Oh God, lose my footing. Right. I know, I know. Oh, it winked at me. Buttons winked at me. Are you okay? Ellie, don't hiss at midnight. Oh, this is Buttons. She's beautiful. But she's kitten sized. She reminds me. Hello, chicken. Hello. No, you're not going in there. You're not going in with Buttons and Noel. I don't think they'd like that. You don't think they'd like to share the bed, would they? Oh, she's kitten-sized, aren't you, baby? You are kitten-sized, just like my little ballerina was. Yes, you're going to be a small little pussycat, I think. Small little pussycat. And little Noel at the back is getting squished. And he's probably... Oh, you sneezings. Oh, pudding. Right, there's little Noel. Oh, he's a little sweetheart, isn't he? Hey, he's a little sweetheart. He's, he's a good boy. He's a little bit timid. But he doesn't have a choice to have a stroke. <laughs> because Buttons is sat on him. Buttons is sat on him. Yes. Oh, poor little guys. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Hello. Oh, little Buttons. She is so beautiful. She is. Oh, she is. Look at you. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, she's a sweet little kitten. She's kitten size, but she's about. I reckon she's about, uh, what was it, six, six months, was it? Yeah, six to seven months. But she's kitten sized. There's going to be a small pussycat, just like my ballerina. Yes, she will. Right, so we've got those two. Gotta get it out. Jeepers. Right. So then, who have we got next? So this is Squeaky. Are you Squeaky? She's out and about, but she can go in the in the crate too. She likes the bed, don't you, baby? Yes, she do. She likes the bed. Are you purring, Bubba? Are you? Oh, she's an old girl. She is. She's about. She. I might be wrong, but I think she's fourteen. I think. Not completely sure. I think she's 14. But she's an old girl. She's an old girl. And I think Lola is either being adopted. Lola's her sort of partner in crime. Because they both came in from somebody that had sad sadly passed away. So she came in with this black girl, Lola. Approximately the same age. I think Lola's been adopted. Oh, the squeaky just wants a good home. She's so affectionate. Purring a little head off, you know. It's always the elderly ones and the black ones that generally get um, adopted last. 
And she's such a little sweetie pie. She would get make somebody such a an excellent an excellent lap cat. She's a little sweetheart, ain't you, baby? Oh, you're so good. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, aren't you? Right then, we've got we've got Marla. She's about two years old. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, look at those murder mittens, eh? Look at those little murder mittens. She's beautiful. And then we got Willow. Willow's six months old. Willow is Marla's daughter. Aren't you, baby? Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful voice, yes? Oh, it's a beautiful pussycat. She's beautiful. Mama, you did such a good job on her. You did such a good job because she's a beautiful black pussy cat, and your baby beautiful reminds me a bit of Bella, which we're gonna have to try and get in, aren't we? So we have got Flossie down here. Flossie is ooh, 12, I think. Flossie is she's got a bit of a, a lopsided grin, I think she's missing a few teeth on one side. She's a beautiful girl. She's affectionate too, but I think Midnight's been pissing off a bit, so I'm not going to stroke her because I might get a swipe. Oh, she's a good girl though. Oh, well, she needs a good home, don't you, baby? She came from similar circumstances. The owner had passed away. So, um, but her brother, well, not brother, her sort of partner. Um, that she was living with, a little boy younger than her, he's still loose and I've been trying to trap him but he's quite elusive. So, um, let's see about trapping him over the next week or so. Are you baby? Oh, are you coming for a little cuddle? Oh, are you coming for a cuddle, Baba? Oh, she's a good girl, eh? Are you a good little girl? Oh, Flossy. Flossy, little sweetheart, ain't you? You need a good brush, re really, Baba. I'd give you a brush, maybe. Yeah, your fur's not the best. But I think we've got a volunteer that's a groomer, so maybe she can give you a nice cuddle. Are you coming to... What's you coming? Are you going to head bump me? I'm not sure. Right, I'm going to... Go on, you need to get down, that's it. Oh God, because I'm not as young as I used to be. Well, I feel old anyway. Right, okay kiddies. I've got to get Bella in. And then, we're done for the evening. It's ten to nine, so I want to try and get Bella in. So, yeah, look, she's got a bit of a lopsided grin. Look, um, yeah, good funny grin. Yeah, you stay there. I'm going to try and get Bella in. Bella, come here, baby. Come on, Baba. Come on. Come on, chicken. You need to come inside. Come on, baby. Bella. See, the thing is, with the other pussy cats, I can get my keys. And I've got a laser on the key. But she's... She's not too bothered, I don't think. Oh, oh, maybe she is. Go on, come and get it. Go and get it. Choo, choo, choo. Choo, choo. <laughs> oh, maybe she'll go for it. What's that, Baba? What's that? Choo, choo, choo. Get the dot. Kill the dot. Go on, kill it. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, might work. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, get it. Get it, baby. Come on. Go on. Go on. Oh, no. Bella, go inside. No. Go on. Bella, get, get inside. No, Flossie, go to ch -ch. No. Go on, Bella. Oh, right. I'm going to have to pick Bella up. Anyway, that is a quick update from the hub. Oh, this is a Casio. So, anyway, quick update from the hub. Hope you like to see all the cats and the rescue that I volunteer at is Tender Paws Cat Rescue which is based in St Anne's so um, if 
you wanna if you wanna donate or you know share or whatever, just you know do that because um, we all, always need some donations to try and fund everything, all the work that we do. We uh, the rescue survives on donations and goodwill, and uh, all of the money goes to uh, feeding and. You know, uh, the litter tray and uh, litter stuff and everything. And volunteers are all unpaid, obviously, because they're volunteers. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try and get Bella home. And then I can go home to my own Bella. <laughs>